In today's repair guide, we'll be teaching you how to fix your Samsung washer. This video will include error codes, troubleshooting, and repair tips. For more information, check out our website. There's a link in the description. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Samsung washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Samsung washer error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code. Low or FL. Problem. Door lock error. Fix. Check the wiring connections to the door lock. Switch. And tighten if needed. Forcing the door open might damage the door lock. Switch. Which is often made of plastic. However, it is simple to replace and much less expensive than calling a technician. Code. DS. Problem. The door is not locked. Fix. If the washer won't start, the DS code might appear. Signaling that the washer door is open and the lock is malfunctioning. Use the diagnostic test mode to check the door lock. Switch assembly. If that shows the lock is defective, replace it. Code. DC. Problem. Unbalanced load. Fix. The DC code means the load has been detected as unbalanced during the final spin. Cancel the cycle. Or just let it end. Redistribute the load and re spin. Code. SUD F70. Problem. Too many suds. Fix. Allow the suds to settle and move to the spin cycle. Rewash the clothes using no detergent and then clean your washer. Code. Low. Problem. Water level sensor failure. Fix. First, unplug the washer and check the wire harness connections between the water level sensor and the main control board. If the IE code still appears after plugging the washer back in, the water level pressure sensor should be replaced. Code. NF. Problem. Water fill problem. Fix. Check that the water supply faucets behind the washer are fully open and kink-free. The lines can also freeze if the washer is exposed to low temperatures. The code might also appear if the water inlet fill valves are defective and need replacement. Code. Low. Problem. The low water level during cycles. Fix. Water level drops can be caused by leaks in the washer tub or an improperly installed drain line. Which can siphon water out of the washer. Reinstall the drain line. And try filling again. Code. OE. Problem. Overflow or too high water levels. Fix. A washer that is overfilled is usually caused by water inlet valves that are not shutting off the water flow properly. Replace the water inlet valve assembly. Code. NF1. Problem. Hot and cold water lines are reversed. Fix. Connect the hot and cold water fill hoses correctly on the back of the washer. Code. T. Problem. Water temperature is either too high or too low. Fix. Run the diagnostic test mode to check the water temperature that the control board is sensing. If the actual temperature is significantly different, the temperature sensor or thermistor should be replaced. Code. ND. Problem. Water will not drain. Fix. If the washer fails to drain within 15 minutes, check the washer drain filter and drain hose for a clog or restriction. If the drain pump is defective or damaged, replace it. Code. E2. Problem. Stuck key on control board. Fix. Try to free the key by gentle force. If you can't free the key, replace the user interface control board also called the sub-PCB control board. Code. 3E. Problem. No signal from the drive motor tachometer. Fix. Unplug the washer. Check the wire harness connections on the drive motor and the electronic control board. If the wiring connections are sound, the drive motor or the tachometer usually needs to be replaced. Code. 2E. Problem. Internal control board failure. Fix. Unplug the washer for 5 minutes to reset the electronic control board. Plug the washer back in. If the code returns, replace the electronic control board. Code. Air. Problem. Communication error between the main PCB and sub-PCB in the control panel. Fix. Check the wire harness connections between the PCB control boards in the control panel. If the wiring connections are sound, replace one or both of the control boards. Code. SF. Problem. Main PCB error. Fix. Unplug the washer for 5 minutes to reset the electronic control board. Plug the washer back in. If the code returns, replace the electronic control board. Code. Hour. Problem. Heater relay failure. Fix. The heater relay is a component on the main PCB control board. Unplug the washer for 5 minutes to reset the main PCB control board. Plug the washer back in. If the code returns, replace the main PCB control board. 
If you're looking for help fixing your Samsung washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Samsung washer troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Water pump problem during spin cycle. Problem. During the spin cycle, the washer pump keeps trying to pump water out and disrupting the spin cycle. Solution. When this happens, it's time to do a bit of detective work. Does it happen with every load or only smaller loads? Large capacity washes are great for families that need to wash large loads but don't always work well when washing small loads. Bleach spotting. Problem. After adding bleach to the bleach dispenser to clean and disinfect the washer or a load of clothes. Bleach spotting occurs on future loads of laundry. Solution. The spotting can occur on future loads even with an extra rinse if you are not using the bleach dispenser correctly. Samsung washer trips electrical circuit. Problem. The washer trips the electrical circuit in the home when it is turned on. There has been a recall on Samsung front load washers because water leakage onto the electrical connections of the washing machine's thermal sensor can cause an electrical short and ignite the circuit board, posing a fire hazard to consumers. Solution. Stop using the washer until you can check into the recall and or have the electrical system of your washer checked. Water remains in detergent dispenser after every wash. Problem. After every load of laundry, water remains in the detergent dispenser tray. Solution. It is not unusual for water to be left in a detergent, bleach, or fabric softener dispenser. The products are dispensed by flushing them out of the tray with a stream of water. It is possible that the water stream is not cutting off as quickly as it should faulty solenoid, which is easy to replace and that is causing the excess water. Purple streaks left on fabrics. Problem. Purple streaks appear on clothes after cold water. Short cycle wash. Solution. The purple streaks happen when too much laundry detergent is used. One teaspoon of concentrated he detergent is the recommended amount for a small cold water load. Never use more than two teaspoons in a he washer no matter the load size or water temperature. Washer leaks during rinse cycle. Problem. The washer leaks water during the rinse cycle even after cleaning the lint trap and checking water hoses for leaks. Solution. If a leak is going to happen with a front loader, it is most often during the rinse cycle because more water is used at that time. The cause is most likely a leak or hole in one of the interior lines. It could be a puncture. Hole in either the drain hose or the soft. Black bellows hose next to the drain pump assembly. Samsung washer will not start. Problem. The washer will not start even though the display says it is ready to begin the cycle. Solution. If the washer is receiving electrical power and everything else looks good. Start by cleaning the contact points of the door latch with a bit of rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab. Even though it indicates that it is locked. There must be full contact. If that doesn't work, a technical manual will help you put the washer into diagnostic mode to better determine if you have a mechanical, computer or electrical problem. If you're looking for help fixing your Samsung washer. Look no further, our comprehensive Samsung washer repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. For the home, kitchen, and beyond, Samsung manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Samsung appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. My Samsung washer wants spin. Lid switch assembly. The lid switch assembly prevents the washer from spinning when the lid is open. If the lid switch assembly fails, the washer will not spin. To determine if the lid switch assembly is defective, use a multimeter to test the lid switch for continuity. If the lid switch does not have continuity, replace it. My Samsung washer is making noise. Bearing. The tub bearing is mounted in the middle of the outer tub. The tub bearing helps to keep the inner tub spinning smoothly. Replacing the tub bearing is a very involved repair and will require disassembling most of the washer. If the tub bearing is defective, we recommend replacing both the outer tub and bearing. Samsung washer want agitate. Agitator repair kit. If the washer want agitate, replacing the agitator repair kit may solve the problem. The kit contains the agitator components that are most likely to wear out and or fail. If any of the parts are worn out, stripped or damaged replace the kit samsung washer want drain drain pump sometimes small objects or articles of clothing can get caught in the drain pump to determine if anything is blocking the drain pump remove the drain pump and check the pump for obstructions if the drain pump is clear of obstructions but is still noisy during the drain cycle 
Replace the drain pump. Samsung washer vibrating or shaking. Shock absorber. One or more of the shock absorbers might be broken or worn out. The shock absorbers dampen the vibration of the washer tub. If one or more of the shock absorbers are worn out, the washer will vibrate or shake. Sometimes, when a washer is moved to another location, the shock absorbers can separate. Check the shock absorbers to ensure that they are positioned correctly and inspect them for damage and wear. If one or more of the shock absorbers are broken or worn out, we recommend replacing all of the shock absorbers is a preventative measure. Samsung washer fills slowly or will not fill at all. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the washing machine. If the water inlet valve is defective, the wash may fill slowly or not fill at all. The water inlet valve requires sufficient water pressure to function properly. First, check the water pressure to determine that it is adequate. If the water pressure is adequate, try cleaning the screens inside the water inlet valve hose connection ports. If the washer still fills slowly, replace the water inlet valve. My Samsung washer is leaking. Drain pump. The drain pump pumps water out the drain hose. If the drain pump is cracked or damaged, or if the bearings are worn out, the drain pump may leak water. The drain pump is not repairable. If the pump is leaking water, replace it. Samsung washer won't start. Timer. The timer is frequently misdiagnosed before replacing the timer. First check all of the more commonly defective parts. To determine if the timer is defective, consult your washer's wiring diagram and use a multimeter to test the timer for continuity. Samsung washer won't spin or agitate. Drive belt. Inspect the drive belt to determine if it is broken or if it is loose on the pulleys. If the drive belt is broken or loose, replace it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.